Hello, folks. Today, uh, I gave up on the sparrow thing a little bit. Not so much that I gave up on it, but I didn't want to play it forever and ever. And this game showed up finally. I waited forever for the Kingdom Hearts, uh, the story so far collection to show up and I've been playing Birth by Sleep for the past few days so much and I've gotten really addicted to the command board game so we are gonna play that and I'm playing as Terra right now this is my little suit in the Mirage arena and I am almost done already with Terra's storyline I I'm just waiting to do the final battle, but I have everything like 100% complete and ready to go with Terra. So I wanted to play a couple more things in the arena before I begin and really max out my skills before I go into that final battle. So I thought I would include you guys on a game of command board. It very much reminds me of Monopoly, but extra fun because it's like wizard Monopoly with superpowers. And I'm going to use two dice for this first roll. And you have these cards that you can sacrifice to get power-ups. Or you can lay them down on spaces like um, buying properties in Monopoly and when players land on it they owe you stuff. So yeah, let's go this way first. And to the checkpoint, get that command card, and do I want to go around? Yeah, I want to go around. So this way, yeah this way. Um, I think I actually wanted to go the other way, but it's fine. Ooh, Tigger is also doing two dice. I am so excited for Kingdom Hearts 3, you guys. I wanted to get this collection in time to play the games that I'm not super familiar with before the third game comes out. I've played Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, um, Chain of Memories, 358 over two days. Um, I'm pretty familiar with the Union X game because I played it um, quite a bit on my phone. and. The only ones I'm not really familiar at all with was Recoded, Dream Drop Distance, and Birth by Sleep. Uh, Dream Drop Distance, I don't know if I'll play that one yet. Uh, same with Recoded, but I have a feeling I'm going to finish Birth by Sleep within the next week or so, so I might start on one of those um, before the main game drops, hopefully. I haven't act I actually have not pre-ordered my game yet of King Hearts 3. I've got to do that. I'm going to pre-order that and be prepared for when it drops. I would honestly really like to do a craft project on Kingdom Hearts to get hyped for the third game. But I can't think of one right now. But I will continue looking into this. Unless anyone has any suggestions they would like to see me do. Um then definitely tell me because I will do it. Um, my favorite games while we were on the subject are 358 oh, over two days and um, the second main game. So I'm really excited to see like the Roxas and Axel like and honestly also Xion stories play out. I want to know more. And I want to know if, like, Xion will get, you know, right. redeemed, because she leaves us so abruptly. Not spoiling anything. I'm not spoiling, I'm just saying it's abrupt. I wanted other things to happen with that storyline. So, that is all I will say. Don't worry. I think I've gotta make a little sacrifice here. And... Man, I shouldn't have gone this way. Hmm, let's just make another lap around. Um, there we go. this guy. Yeah. And 
so that is the game plan and all that we are doing. I had a hard time getting the uh, disc, the discs, plural, here. They were a Christmas present um, to me from family. So they got shipped to my house while I was not there. And I got here and saw them waiting, saw the package, and okay. saw that it was super beat up. I will probably in include a picture here. The case was entirely smashed into pieces and the game looked playable, right. but I didn't really want to risk it and get like halfway through the game and find out that it wasn't actually any good. So I decided I should just return it and I called them and I said, hey, this game is smashed into pieces. Can I get another All one? Right. Maybe. And they said, uh, yeah, but you'll have to send us the pieces back. And I said, that sounds a little ridiculous if we're being honest. And the guy was like, yeah, I also think that sounds ridiculous. Let me ask my supervisor. That honestly sounds a little hazardous. So he, I sat on the little hold while he went and asked his supervisor. And his supervisor said, yeah, you still need to send all the pieces back. So I have the pile of game disc pieces sitting on my desk. And I have to get a new envelope to send them in because the envelope was also ripped up. And then I will send it back. Otherwise they will charge my family for another copy of the game. I'm not bitter. Uh, what is Captain Justice? I haven't landed on this before. In any Oh. What? Why is he here? I didn't encounter Captain Justice as a character. He must be in one of the other storylines. Huh. Yeah, I didn't even know, like, this game, you literally play three different storylines. So I was like, yeah, I wonder, this will be interesting. I really didn't know much of anything about Birth by Sleep, but I'm really enjoying this one so far. I honestly really like the game mechanics on this one, and I'm sort of hoping that 3 takes some of those mechanics and puts it in their game, because it's really good. I really hated the card system, I really wanted to like Chain of Memories, but I couldn't get over the mechanics of the game. I didn't actually even finish it. I got really close to the end and got to a battle where I just like couldn't organize the cards in a way that I could win the game. So I never did. I read the manga instead and was bitter about it. That's just fine. I'm only a little bitter. I'm not putting down a command card on this panel. All right. Um, oh, I get, oh, more? Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the story with that. And all of that. And I really like this command board game, so that's why we're playing that. If there are other mini games from Kingdom Hearts, the games, as I'm going through, I might make some videos with those. But I wanted to start off with this one, and this level in particular, because it is my favorite. I really need to uh, get back up to the top of the board, so we're just going to rush along. Uh, I also apologize that I'm still sick and sound sick. Oh my goodness, Captain Justice is really nice to get in this game. And I feel as if my gold is almost gone. It really has lasted a while, honestly. It's been like over a week. And that's just like when I accepted that I had a cold and started taking cold medicine. Um, so, doing my best. Really living my best life. Not really. Well, well, that's not true. I'm just sick right now. Otherwise, I'm having a pretty good time. I actually finished my grad school application as I brought up before I was working on it. It is done. I mentioned it in the spa bathtub video, whatever it was. 
that some of you might have watched. Hopefully you did. If you didn't, go check it out because it's really on brand with the rest of my content, honestly. Um, that video was entirely born out of me just sitting there like, hey, I wonder what I can do today for a video because it's been a while since I posted one since I haven't been home. So I should uh, record something. And then I said, but my house is a mess and I don't have anything to make. So what do I record? And I said, well, I've got some bath bombs. Or as it turned out, a bath bomb. So we just went with that. And a face mask. Go. And made some quality content just with that. It was not bad. I enjoyed it. And... Um, it was fun. Good day. I actually, the clips of Athena working on stuff were me. I did go, I did answer Athena's text for anyone wondering. I didn't just like have someone record Athena struggling while I was sitting in the bathtub. But editing magic, you know, almost gives that impression. So, just to prevent a sister scandal here, I'm gonna clear it up. I did not help her but i went and watched her struggle so i kept her company <laughs> and that is what i've done um uh, uh nobody else has four diamonds yet so i guess i'll just keep rolling Ooh, sorry pooh bear hmm Uh, I don't have anyone to help me commentate today because I am sick, but I might get some more friends and stuff, not just Morgan, on uh, videos to commentate for future ones because I have stocked up on some new games and stuff I really want to play and I want to include you guys in videos and some of them are multiplayer, so I want to get my friends in on this and do stuff with them. I do also have a few different friends who are trying to do YouTube stuff and internet we stuff as well. So I would like to include them and have a bunch of fun with that. So I'm doing my best and planning on that stuff. No, I will not level up my panel. I will not swap cards either. Done. What did I, I don't know if I had to get to 5,000 for this or 6,000. Oh, it's something. Uh, I went, uh, I have a funny story to fill up this time until I finish this game. Um, I went and got lunch today. Um, my dad accompanied me to eat this lunch. It was a pizza from the gas station that I ended up going and getting. And, um, we were eating it. And I was also helping him pick out, uh, paper towels, um, from Home Depot or Staples. We were price comparing. We were comparing prices on paper towels, you know, as people apparently no. tend to do. And I was looking right. at this, <laughs> this, and I totally started choking on the cheese that I was eating and I just lost a thousand game points. Wow. And I was truly choking. And there's something so different about when you're choking when you're sick because like I already was having such a hard time breathing that I was almost like, is there even hope for me to breathe right now? Because I couldn't breathe because there was cheese in my throat and I couldn't breathe from being sick. So I was like, I can't use my nose. I can't use my throat. I was like trying not to panic. And my dad was just standing next to me, still looking at paper towels. And I was like, uh, I'm trying not to panic, but I feel like I could possibly die right now. And I couldn't speak because I was choking. And <laughs> my dad, just very dad like, was just like, hey, uh, do you want me to choke you out or something? And I was like, that, oh, Tigger just won. What? I think I just won. But, what? But I was like, no, I don't want you to choke me out. Like, do you mean like 
pr stop the I don't, I don't know what he was trying to say but it just really cracked me up later on because I was like hey if someone is choking if you choke them back if you choke a choking person then maybe it cancels out which I know is not true but the concept really cracked me up so yeah that was my really bad story to finish this off maybe I'll buy some crystals and I will continue leveling up my character and getting this stuff before I go do the final battle here um, if you like this video or you want to see me play more and actually win and defeat Tigger and Pooh and fight them to the death let me know I will I will fight them to the death also if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more random games and crafty whatever life that was really awful anyway subscribe if you like my stuff and I will see you guys next video bye